so I just wanted to give a little intro. Um, my son wanted to carve his pumpkin and he wanted me to videotape it for YouTube. So I promised I would put it on my channel. So I'm going to, after this, I'm going to insert that uh, footage that I have. And he was really happy about it, so I hope you enjoy it. But I'm also going to in, in, insert what I'm making for dinner, lazy keto style. This is my first ever chili recipe. When I say it's a recipe, I got it off Pinterest. Yes, there's tomatoes in it that are supposed to be in moderation, um, but there's no beans or anything, just vegetables, tomato sauce, and stuff like that. So come along with me to make my first ever lazy keto chili, and I hope you enjoy. Hi guys, I'm carving my pumpkin today. This is the tool we're going to use. It goes like this. And it, you just do, and it will cut it open, but it doesn't work that well, though. It doesn't, does it? No. No, we got it at Home Depot. It was on sale for, like, $3. Like sweet. Yeah, we thought he would like it, and it would be fun, but it didn't really work very well. So, so far we have it. Complete. A, Adam doesn't like this. What don't you like about it? That the feeling of the seeds. Yeah, it's gross, isn't it? It's slimy. So I usually have to take over, but he did very well this year. So it's almost uh, all cleared out. So what's the next step, Adam? To carve the front. So we have to put a picture on it and what you want it to be, right? Right. I'll be right back and I'll show you the next step. Go. Welcome back, guys. So I have my pumpkin face done. It didn't really work on the melt. The pen, it is too wet. It's been sitting in my garage for a while. We just finished carving it. Well, carving the inside. And we're going to carve the rest. See you soon. It's looking better for me than the dog. Pay attention. You want Daddy to hold the pumpkin? No. I think it's probably a safer option for Daddy to hold the pumpkin. Because I don't feel like having Do you want to try it with a drywall saw? No. I'm no good at it. Yeah, it's kind of tricky. Hold on, let's hold on. help from dad. Yeah. So this is going to take a while to finish. I'll show you when it's finished. Hey guys, so I finished my pumpkin. It's looking good. It's looking kind of scary. Oh, yeah. I tried flattening it out the bottom with my saw. You did? Remember the saw I showed you? Um, we had to throw it out. My dad says it was a piece of junk. <laughs> it wasn't very good, was it? No. So I guess next year, no, not to buy it. Yeah. But you did a really good job yeah. on your pumpkin. I guess you can't look to that. There you go. We gotta find a candle because after tomorrow's Halloween. So now Wait. I'm gonna go and put it outside on my front porch. Okay. Let's go. Can you get the door for me, Mom? Yep. Here's where we put it. I think I'll put it right in this house. Looks good. Looks scary. All right, say goodbye to them. Goodbye, guys. Say thanks for watching my video. Thanks for watching my video. Hey guys. So 
Before I make the chili, I just wanted to show you the new gadget that we got this weekend. It's the Osmo Mobile 2. It is pretty cool. I'm still learning how to use it. So if the camera's moving in ways that it shouldn't, I'm just learning how to do it. So I just wanted to show you that. And now let's get ready to make the chili. So this is everything. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm not feeling very well. This is everything that I'm going to use for my chili. Again, you can do whatever you want in your chili. I'm going to use not all of it, some diced tomatoes, some tomato sauce, <clears throat> beef bone broth, some extra lean beef, an onion, bell peppers, mushrooms, sausages, salt and pepper, as well as garlic powder, cumin, chili powder, paprika, and oregano leaves. So let's get cooking. Okay, so first thing, I'm going to start by cooking my meat. So I'm going to cook up my ground beef and then I'm going to chop up my sausage into the chunks that I want to go in my chili. And then I'm going to start cutting up my vegetables and we'll go from there. So now that I have my sausages cut up in the sizes that I want, I'm going to add them to <clears throat> our beef here. cutting board. I already washed my knife and we're going to start cutting up the vegetables. Now, like they say, um, as well as carrots, onions, tomatoes are all in moderation, but one thing I can't get away from is onions. I love them too much, so I'm going to add a whole onion only because I enjoy them so, so much. Okay, so since our meat is pretty much done, I transferred our veggies, I don't know if you can see it, into the rock pan, the bigger one, and I'm going to transfer the meat into the veggies, and then we are going to add our tomatoes, that's not working the way I wanted it, tomato sauce, bone broth, and all our spices.
and add a bone broth. This has two cups. This is what we have so far. So here is our chili so far. Doesn't it look good? Now I'm going to put it on medium low for a few hours so the veggies can cook. But I'm still going to add all the spices. So chili powder. I'm gonna put a tablespoon of all of them. Cumin. Paprika. Oregano, and every one of these spices is carb and calorie free, and garlic powder. be proud of myself if this turns out well guys. I've been craving chili for so long. So now we're just gonna let it sit for a few hours and then we'll come back and see how it tastes. So while our food's cooking I wanted to show you my cabinet. The one, sh well not even a cabinet, it's a shelf that I have for myself that the boys can't touch for keto food, keto snacks, my keto drink. So let me show you. So this shelf right here is mine. I have some Kirkland protein bars, peanut butter chocolate chunk, and cinnamon, cinnamon roll. And they are about four to five carbs up. Uh, a protein bar which is not bad if you want a snack. I have some crystal light orange packets for juice if I want to have it. Uh, tuna, some tea, um, these dark chocolate that I found at No Frills. For 15 pieces it's five, five carbs. I mean if you need a sweet tooth that works. I also have some water bottle packets, a fruit punch. I have some white chocolate jello that I mix with heavy whipping cream and it tastes like heaven. More crystal light. I also use the chocolate one when I'm really wanting a sweet tooth. And your good old pork rinds. Now, I don't like to eat pork rinds by themselves, but they turn into a really good nacho. If you put cheese and veggies and jalapenos on them and bake them in the oven, it's a good alternative for nachos. So this is just my shelf. There's not much. As you can see, the temptations I can have in my house. 
you know, that's just a cupboard. And then, you know, the boys bought sugar cones for ice cream, donuts, coffee cake, you know, puddings, breads. I, the temptation is real, guys, but, you know, I've learned to overcome it. So now I'm going to show you how I make my tea. So in my awesome number one mug that my mother-in-law got me when we first moved into this house, I'm going to add my tea bag and the hot water that's boiling here on the stove because we have yet to buy a kettle. I know. So I just filled that. So now I'm going to add a little bit of half and half cream. It's one carb for a tablespoon, but you can use heavy whipping cream. I don't like to use it though. So some cream. And then for sweetness, I get stevia in the raw. You can get this at Costco, uh, not Costco. I'm sure you can get it at Costco, but I got mine at No Frills for $9 for 275 grams. stuff goes a long way so you don't want a lot. So I'm going to put less than a teaspoon. And I really enjoy tea more than coffee now since I got on keto. So let's sit down and let's talk a bit. So I just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys a little bit about, I had some questions about why I always say I'm lazy keto instead of just saying I'm on the keto diet is because when people say they're on the ketogenic diet, it pretty much means that they're doing the strict diet because you don't want to say you're doing the ketogenic diet when you're not fully doing the ketogenic diet like I am. I'm changing my lifestyle and the way of eating. I'm not counting my macros. I'm not counting my intake of calories. I am just counting my carbs and staying away from sugars and added sugars. Now, yes, I do use the stevia when I make desserts and stuff and in my tea, but that's about it. I don't really eat much sugar anymore and I don't well, that's a lie I do crave sugar so I'd definitely be lying if I said I didn't crave sugar the cravings are there sometimes and definitely when that time of the month comes it is a tough tough week but you push through and you learn other ways to eat to indulge in your cravings that you're feeling like I'll have cheesecake, keto cheesecake that I'll make, or berries and whipped cream, or heavy whipping cream and the white chocolate pudding. I don't use the whole white pu chocolate pudding package. It's like seven carbs for the whole thing, so I only use like maybe a quarter of it, if that. And that's plenty. It's so sweet. So, I mean, there's ways around the sweet tooth, and it can go keto, which is awesome. But... I keep thinking, like, where would I be now if I never found keto? How much more weight would I have gained? Would I be 260, 270? You know, I'd be making my way to the 300s, and I'm so glad that I decided to get on this keto journey and stick with it. I mean, I've tried every diet, and not one has worked because... I am a big, big, big pop drinker, and I don't think I would have succeeded with the keto diet if, or this way of eating if diet pop wasn't allowed because I crave it all the dang time. So I think that is a blessing in itself, but I think if I were to cut the diet pop like cold turkey, I would be losing weight. A lot faster but this is what keeps me on track and this is what keeps me not wanting to binge eat or just sit down you know for breakfast and have a bag of chips like I used to which is crazy to think now I am so glad that I'm on this journey to lose weight and to finally stick to something 
and be accountable for myself in my own way. And I don't think I was ever in a place where I was like, maybe, maybe I'm getting too fat. No. No. Then I go back and I go, oh, gummy bears. Oh, chips. I never thought until, like I said in my last video, I did progress pictures of how big I really was. And even my family was like, wow, I never realized how big you really were until you do a side by side and see how how much you've lost and it's not even the weight it's the inches that you lose too I mean when I used to smile I used to have like the biggest double chin ever and I'm so glad that was one of my insecurities that is almost gone and it's awesome and I just hope I can help you guys if you want to start losing weight because if anybody can do this you can because I never thought in a million years that I could stick to this this so people say diet but I see it as an amazing way of eating that can take you throughout your life and just succeed so I'm really blessed and I'm really happy that I got to do this and I'm really happy that I get to share it with you so if you guys have any questions like always leave them down in the comments below or I'm sure a lot of my friends and family watch this just DM me or text me or and I can help you guys out. So let's go see how the chili is doing All right, there is the finished product Nice and hearty with vegetables and meat, which is so awesome Now Let's try it Wow, that turned out really good, guys. Oh, wow. Definitely, if you're looking for, for a low-carb chili, try this one. And again, add whatever vegetables or whatever you want to add. That can stick within your 20 carbs in a day. Now, at the end, when I eat this for dinner tonight, I'm going to add sour cream and cheese as well. because those are two good fats. So thank you for watching this video. It was my first cooking video. And if you want to see more, I will be happy to do more. Thank you for watching, guys. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you next time.